Hey guys, Ben Nash from Pivot Wealth here, and today uh, I'm pumped to be here with Aaron Christie David from Atelier Wealth. Aaron's a, a mortgage broker, um, a good friend of the How to Be Successful with Money podcast. Aaron, thanks for coming back to join us, mate. Mate, thanks for having me back, Ben. Really appreciate it. Appreciate you carving out the time on uh, such a momentous day as your daughter's graduation <laughs> from, uh, from 1A to 1B or, or something like that. Mate, so, it's yeah. a pivotal day in the Christy David household for our daughter, Sienna, uh, moving <laughs> upwards in the ranks of preschool. Uh, so, yeah, mate, watch out, world. Yeah, look out, exactly. Well, mate, I'm keen to uh, get your take on, you know, what's going on in the property and mortgage market at the moment. Obviously, there's been a ton of activity, movement, you know, seen some pretty uh, staggering price growth over the last little bit, as well as some, you know, changes in the mortgage market, assessment rates, interest rates, and a lot of people sort of questioning where to from here. Um, mm -hmm. I thought maybe a good place to start, though, is someone that's sort of, you know, helping people set up mortgages day in and day out. What are some of the trends that you're seeing in that space at the moment? Yeah, so trends, I'll kind of break it down two ways, maybe if you like it. Uh, so trends on the lending side, um, there really has been a lot of shifts and the shifts particularly been around fixed rates going upwards and it's kind of blink and you missed it. Uh, so in, you know, take a four week period, for example, some banks increase their rates four times, for example. Uh, and the, why would be the first question for anyone. So fixed mm. rates have gone up, the banks are citing um, the cost of funds as they typically do and you ask what does that mean it's actually their their cost to buy money than their cost to lend it out for example that's effectively what they're saying is that's gone up therefore they're going to pass on those rising costs to to uh, new customers so fixed rates that started with a one have now definitely moved to kind of twos um, and there's been like 25 banks have actually increased their fixed rates but mm. the other market signal is variable rates have come down, which is such a mixed message when you think about it. Variable rates are coming down, fixed rates are going up. So if you mm. kind of crystal ball, you go, well, that, that can only assume that in the next call, three year period, the RBA and the banks expect rates to rise now. So the banks are kind of getting in there now. What does that actually mean for someone? We've come out of the lowest rate, you know, interest rate environment that we've ever seen. Um, so at some point we were going to hit the bottom and rates had to go up. Um, mm. And so to everyone, I'm like, what are we worried about? It's maybe 1% on a fixed rate that's gone up. Does that actually mean a fixed rate's right for you? Maybe you can stay variable, for example, and keep smashing down your mortgage. And the other part is it's a cost of doing business. So you actually couldn't have got a mortgage at 1.99% six months ago because you weren't in the market six months ago. So right here, right now, it's a cost of doing business. And the flip side could be that property prices may actually slow down. So while you're paying a little bit more on interest rate, you actually could be paying less for the property, which means you borrow less and it comes out in the wash as well. So that's a that's a kind of a concept and a conversation that we have to take people on that journey with as well, because yeah. it's like you're in headlights, <clears throat> excuse me, stuff, but you just go, look, what do you need to worry about? You cannot control the fixed rate. You buy when you buy and the rates are the rates then. So I think kind of taking that emotion out of it a little bit when it comes to yes. worrying about rates. That's that's kind of my job. And I go, look, guys, the rate's the rate. Uh, it's a, it's yeah. a cost of doing this is how I call it. Yeah, it's hard to escape that price anchoring, though, whether it's interest rates or share prices or property prices as well. I think you see it at a level and then you look at it and it's a different level and whether it's higher or lower, it's natural to say, oh, well, that was the before. Like, um, why, why can't I have that now? But as you say, it is what it is because you can't you can't go back in time, right?